Well, I worked for Elizabeth Manuel. I was her assistant for about a year and a half. And from there, I really learned about corsetry, boning, and the bigger gowns, and I fell in love with that kind of look. I mean, it was something that I was always interested in before, but working with someone like Elizabeth, obviously, you know, she worked for, she did Princess Di's dress. It was a really good grounding, and I learned a lot from that. It was a, it was a good a basics, a basis for me to start. And I loved working with Bruce Oldfield. Um, I was with him for a, for a work placement, actually, when I just graduated. And then I also worked for Bella Freud, Red or Dead. Worked with quite a big of the British designer legends in the UK. And working with Bruce, I mean, now we know that, you know, she, he may be doing the dress for uh, Kate's mum. So, yeah, I'm really, really chuffed to, to have worked with him. I mean, his finishing and his standards, I mean, he's perfect. He's perfect to do that dress. So, yeah, it was fantastic. When you're designing for, I mean, to design a dress for Kate, I would really have to consider the fact that she's getting married in such a grand venue, Westminster Abbey. Um, and then also, you know, the fact that she has to wear something, it's, it's, it's kind of typically associated that she will wear something that's fairly traditional as a royal. But at the same time, because of her age and her lovely figure and, you know, she's a bit more edgier than some of the other royals, she can afford to have a more of a modern twist to the actual dress. So I think that she would go for something as an understated elegance, lace, but maybe a little bit of beading, um, maybe a high neck. And I, I don't think she'd go for more of a, too much of a fishtail type gown. I think she needs to still go for a grand shape. So a princess line shape, maybe not too big but not too slim either, something that's kind of in between, that would kind of still show off her figure, but be grand enough for the venue. Well, at Reshmas, we're working with so many different brides from all over the place, but obviously we are working with some brides from Reading and Kent at the moment. We even have brides who fly in from abroad, so they come from all over to come to the store because we offer something so unique. And um, I think the kind of styles that brides are looking for at the moment, they want bespoke, they want something that's a bit more unusual, and they kind of come in with a, an idea of the kind of dress they want, but it's up to me to help them filter those ideas to make a dress that works. Understated, I think, as well, always works, but with a little bit more detailing than maybe before. So the hand beading and the laces and the intricacy of the embroideries are kind of quite important these days, and I think they weren't so much previously. So, yeah, and I think, you know, a lot of brides want a fusion look. We have Asian brides who want a fusion look, and we also have our traditional English wedding dresses that we do for our English brides. So there's quite a lot of a mixture, and we also deal with a lot of mixed marriages, which is a real specialism for the store. <laughs> Um, as you can see, it's more of a traditional line in terms of a princess line cut. Um, there's all this sketching here is actually lace, so the entire dress would be made of lace. And I've drawn a long slim sleeve with a delicate scallop at the hem of the sleeve and a high neck, which would be a really elegant and um, very understated but quite regal look as well. And then we could have a little bit of touch of beading all across the dress, but very light, very delicate, so it wouldn't be too much blink, which I don't think is the look she would go for. <laughs> 
And um, on this style, you can see here, I've still kept to the lace because I think that's a kind of, I think that's a detail that she might opt for. But I've gone for a silk band across her shoulders, which is kind of a quiet 1950s Audrey Hepburn look. And a delicate lace veil as well, with a little bit of lace detailing all around the end of a tulle veil. These dresses here, there's a couple of sketches I've got here, are the um, 